Hello students. I hope you all are doing great. So, आज हम देखेंगे लिंग्विस्टिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ इंडिया जो हम लोग ऑलरेडी प्रीवियस वीडियो में कवर अप कर चुके हैं ठीक है तो आज हम मी जो इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस एंड द फैमिली एंड रिलीजियस कॉम्पोजिशन देखेंगे सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अप आई हैव अ स्मॉल मोटिवेशन फॉर यू ऑल द मोटिवेशन इज द ओनली वे टू सक्सीड इज ओनली हार्ड वर्क देर इज नो अदर शॉर्टकट सो विद दिस मोटिवेशन लेट इज स्टार्ट सो कल हम लोगों ने लिंग्विस्टिक कॉम्पोजिशन देखा था कि इंडिया इज द लैंड ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक डाइवर्सिटी आज हम लोग देखेंगे क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मेजर इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस और राइट सो जितने भी लैंग्वेजेस हमारे कंट्री में हैं वो सर्टन लैंग्वेज फैमिली से स्टेम आउट हुए हैं सो बेसिकली लैंग्वेज फैमिलीज चार होते हैं ठीक है दीज आर ऑस्ट्रिक स्पोकन बाई वन पॉइंट थ्री एट परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ड्रोविडन लैंग्वेजेस आर स्पोकन बाई ओनली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया then we have the fourth language family that's known as sino-tibetan which is spoken by 0.85% and finally we have the indo-european languages which are spoken by the majority of india's population that is approximately 73% and indo-aryan sorry indo-european languages are also known as aryan languages theek hai so ye main language family hai ab ye language family ko further hum log sub family mein bhi classify kar sakte hai jaise ko tum logo ko dikh raha hoga that is into austric can be divided into austro asiatic and austro nation sino tibetan can be divided into tibeto myanmari and siam is chinese indo european can be classified into sub family that's in, that's your indian Ar- aryan languages now these four language families can also be grouped into certain branches theek hai is language family ko further hum branching kar sakte hain jaise ki austric ko branching kiya gaya hai into mon khmer and munda language Similarly, Dravidian languages has been divided into or branched into South Dravidian, Central Dravidian, and North Dravidian. Sino-Tibetan languages have been classified into sub branches that is Tibeto-Himalayan, North Assam, Assam, Myan, Myanmar. All right. So, Indo-European languages have been classified into or sub branched into Iranian, Dardic, and Indo-Aryan languages. Now, let us see which are the areas which speak all this language. and the families all right so austric languages ya yeah, mon austric language ka jo sub branch hai mon khmer language bola jata hai meghalaya nicobar islands munda languages are spoken in the states of west bengal bihar odisha assam madhya pradesh maharashtra and besides your austro nation languages are spoken outside india so basically ye jo austric languages hai wo zyada tar hilly areas mein bola jata hai but also in some of the plain areas of bihar etc all right so these are the austric languages that are spoken now let us move on to the dravidian languages now as you see the sub branching of dravidian languages south dravidian language is spoken in the state of tamil nadu karnataka and kerala central dravidian is spoken in the states of andhra pradesh mp orissa maharashtra north dravidian languages are spoken in the states of bihar orissa west bengal madhya pradesh theek hai so ye south indian ya south india mein ye dravidian language bola jata hai ठीक है इफ आई गिव यू सर्टन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ड्रविडियन लैंग्वेजेस वी हैव तमिल ओके वी हैव मलयालम तेलुगु एट्सेट्रा सो दीज आर सर्टन ड्रविडियन लैंग्वेजेस विच आर स्पोकन अक्रॉस स्टेट ना इफ यू आस्क मी सम ऑफ दी लैंग्वेजेस लाइक वी हैव इन द स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु तमिल इज प्रोमिनेंट इज इंट इट केरला मलयालम एट्सेट्रा राइट नाउ साइनो टिबेटन लैंग्वेजेस लेट्स कम टू दैट इट इज द लीज स्पोकन लैंग्वेज इन इंडिया सो the sub branching as you see now these are spoken in the states of tibet or himalaya language himalayan languages are spoken in the states of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh sikkim north assam is in all uh, right arunachal pradesh assam myanmar in the states of assam nagaland manipur mizoram tripura meghalaya so most of our northeastern states come under these sino tibetan languages so if i give you certain examples of sino tibetan languages we have the sikkimese language the boro language all right uh, and even Le- lepcha language comes under the sino tibetan languages then we have the most widely spoken language in our country that's indo european along with it the indo aryan languages is the sub family all right 
सो दीज आर एज यू कैन सी स्पोकन आउटसाइड इंडिया इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड इंडो आर्यन लैंग्वेजेस आर स्पोकन इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश यूपी राजस्थान हरियाणा एम पी बिहार उड़ीसा वेस्ट बंगाल असम गुजरात महाराष्ट्र एंड गोवा सो रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स द इंडो आर्यन लैंग्वेजेस आर द मोस्ट वाइडली स्पोकन सब फैमिली ऑफ योर मेन फैमिली दैट्स योर इंडो यूरोपियन लैंग्वेजेस example of certain indo aryan languages we have the language like bengali hindi odia marathi gujarati etc okay and among the indo aryan languages hum log ko already pata hai ki hindi is the most widely spoken theek hai approximately half of the population speaks hindi in india so it's interesting that our languages have stemmed out from these language families all right so this is this was all about the linguistic classification or the linguistic composition of india now we will move on to the next composition that is known as religious composition as you are able to see now like language diversity our india also has religious diversity means we have number of religions which people follow according to the belief and faith all right so our communities can also be classified on the basis of religion so the important religions or the religious communities of india according to 2011 data as you can see in table number 1.3 we have hindus okay then we have muslims christians sikhs buddhists jains other religions and persuasions okay that and religion not stated religion not stated means those who those who doesn't do not come under any category all right so these are the basic religions that we country or uh, our country has been following now let us see by looking at 2011 data regarding the percentage of total people following this religion now you should be knowing that hinduism is the largest religion in india and also the oldest all right so hindus comprise sorry comprise hindus comprise about 79% of the total population of india all right muslims are 14.2% christians with 2.3% sikhs with 1.7% buddhist with 0.7% jains with 0.4% and other religions that is 0.7% and religions not stated is 0.2% so this is according to the census of india 2011 data so by looking at the table we have come to understood that hinduism is the most widely followed religion and the least or the proportion of the least population under the religion is jainism all right so now in this context hame kya dekhna hai hum hame in religions ka special distribution dekhna hai matlab ka kis kis state mein kaun sa religion hum practice karte hai so chalte hain hinduism se first start karte hai so i will explain the special distribution of religion with the help of a map out here okay it's a political map so let us start now now first hinduism now hinduism is practiced is practiced in almost all parts of the states except leaving few states of jammu and kashmir all right okay so jammu and kashmir and some parts of kerala lakshadweep okay they are left out and other most of the parts and some of the northeastern part of our india okay they do not follow this religion besides everybody a majority of the population is following hinduism let us come to the second majority religion in our country that is islam or the muslim population okay now basically muslim population are concentrated in the states of jammu and kashmir okay some districts of west bengal of course kerala and lakshadweep islands also has majority of muslim populations and other states of india as well all right even tripura has some percentage of muslim population okay so this i'm talking about the majority states all right now the third important religion as you are uh, as you know it which is it it's it's the christians all right so christian now christian population are mostly concentrated in the states of goa okay kerala all right northeastern states of meghalaya nagaland manipur all right so these states have your majority christian population besides other states also have districts which are following christianity all right so you'll find greater impact of people following christianity in the northeastern states next we'll come to another important religion of our country that's your uh, sikhism or sikhs so sikhs are mostly concentrated in the states of punjab haryana and delhi all right 
okay then we have the religion that's buddhism and jainism now this is a very small percentage of uh, buddhism and jainism that resides in our country however jainism is mostly concentrated in the urban areas remember urban areas all right urban areas mein jyada jains paaye jate hain jaise ki urban areas of rajasthan gujarat and maharashtra all right now buddhism Buddhism is mostly concentrated in majority states like Maharashtra has a very good percentage of Buddhist population okay Sikkim also has very good uh, Buddhist population Tripura has Buddhist population all right and Ladakh has majority of Buddhist population and Lahul and Spiti districts of Himachal Pradesh are widely concentrated in your Buddhism all right and besides all this we have other religions which are unstated okay or the those kinds of other religions okay the other religions includes religions like zoroastrians tribal tribal religions indigenous faiths and beliefs comes under the other religions which are widely spoken okay in different small pockets throughout the country so we have discussed the like uh, your religious composition of india okay so this was all about the religion and linguistic classification so all right thank you for your patience